Hi and uh, welcome to Mike's Guitar Workshop where you can win wonderful prizes. No, there's no prizes here. The only prize here is knowing that you too can do exactly what I do with just some very basic tools and taking a bit of care. So uh, join me on my journey and uh, yeah, let's get cracking. A Tokai Reborn Old. Okie dokie. Um, it's coming for a full setup. Uh, the nut is already great, so we're just going to leave that as is. I'll give you a close-up of that just now. But uh, guys, one thing I did notice, and I'll bring the camera in for this, is that all the frets are flat on top. They, it looks like the board has been leveled, but it was never recrowned. They are flat on top to the tune of 1.2 millimeters. So they are certainly very, very flat. I'm going to just bring in something. <clears throat> I just want to see something here. Okay. Right, let's get cracking. Got my very flat 600 paper leveling beam here, and I'm just going to run it across the top without any pressure just to see where those high frets are exactly. I can feel there's one right here. It's Here's a completely low one. These are all low, so that's fine. Right, so at the moment I'm just uh, looking for the problem frets because I want to take off as little as possible from the top of these frets because they have been sanded before but they were never crowned. So I'm just um, seeing where the issues are and I'm just going to concentrate on those particular areas. So now I'm just going to check every fret to make sure there's no more high frets. So I'll do those all individually. Because as I say, I haven't leveled the board per se. I've just, just removed this little one there. So we'll sort that out. Thank you. 
so I'm just measuring my fret crowning file here. It's got three different sizes because I want to match it up exactly to the fret to get the perfect crown. So I'll do one at a time, obviously, and I'm, the, the aim here is to leave just a fraction of a little black line right on top, which we'll round off with the final polishing later. So we're just laying some tape down to protect the fretboard itself. And then we'll come in with um, some 600 paper. And we'll be sanding in the same direction that the file initially made its grooves to try and get rid of those. And once that's complete, we'll come with, in with the steel wool and just polish the frets. Right, that's all done. I'm just checking the fret ends to make sure there's uh, no sharp edges. I'm just coming in with a uh, little emery board here and just going to round off uh, any irritating parts so that it's nice and smooth for the player. Right, well, as we can see from this photo, we've uh, achieved a nice crown. So that should sort those issues out. Um, another thing the customer wanted was to just shield the scratch plate because every time he touches it, they're static. So what I have done is I've already put the copper tape on. I've soldered a wire to the tape. We're gonna run that here just past the pickup onto earth. So let's do that.
Okay, so we've got the wire through. I'd like to have it coming out right in the corner here. Just like that. Sure we have connectivity. Yep. Good. Right, I'm going to solder this onto Nice. So I'm just checking the action of the the strings uh, at the first fret. This is all I do this by feel. Um, so I'm really just fine tuning here. You can see I'm rocking the saw just to create a nice round groove. And this is just really minimal. There's basically nothing coming off here. It's just, I'm just being a bit pedantic. Hope the customer's happy. If you liked the video, please uh, click the thumbs up, uh, click subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.